these two are some of MTN's most popular routers right now. But which one is actually right for you? If you're thinking of buying either the MTN 4G T30 router or the MTN Fiber router, this video will help you avoid making the wrong choice. I've used both of them for real work and daily internet and I'll show you which one gives better unlimited internet, which one is faster, which one is easier to move with and which one fits your budget. Later in the video, I'll do a real life speed test of both routers so you can see for yourself which one is truly faster. Let's get into the video. One thing to note is I'm comparing fiber and a 4G router. So uh, this video will also work for any other fiber situation or any other 4G router. Before we look at which one is best for you, let's understand how each one works and what features they have. The MTN 4G T30 router is wireless and uses 4G technology. It picks up signal from the air and shares the internet through Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable to your other devices like phone or laptops. On the other hand, MTN Fiber uses a cable that comes straight to your house and connects to the router. Inside the cable are tiny glass cables that carry internet in the form of light. Now, let's look at the design and ports. Both routers have a simple design that looks good wherever you place them. The MTN 4G router has one telephone port and one Ethernet port for connecting things like desktops, TVs, or gaming consoles like your PS. The MTN Fiber router has one telephone port and four Ethernet ports. So you can connect up to four devices via cable for more stable connections. For powering them up, the MTN 4G router uses a Type-C charging port, which is great because most of us already have these extra Type-C cables lying around. The Fiber uses a dedicated power cable. I don't know the exact name, so if you do, drop it in the comments. The 4G router comes with four antennas while the fiber router has two which may make you think the 4g router offers better signal coverage but in my experience the fiber router has stronger and far reaching wi-fi coverage the 4g router requires a dedicated mtn sim card that we put inside while the mtn fiber router doesn't instead your personal mtn number is the one that is associated with your fiber router such as in terms of registration or when you need to make payment for fiber internet plan Next up, let's talk batteries. The 4G router has a built-in battery that lasts about 4 to 6 hours during a power outage. The fiber router, however, has no battery at all. So when your power goes out, your internet goes off too, unless you get a separate power backup like a UPS. People often ask if the regular power banks that come with other routers can work on the fiber router. So I tested it and one thing I found out is the power supply from these power banks is not enough for these fiber routers. You'll need something more powerful. I wish MTN could offer a basic power backup solution. Even if it lasts just one to two hours, it could help some people stay online when power goes out. Let's talk portability. Since the 4G router is wireless and has a battery, it's the better choice if you move around a lot and still want an internet connection on the move. The fiber router is fixed. Its cable is drilled into the walls, so moving means you might need a new installation in the new location. Now, ease of setup. The 4G router is easy to set up. It's basically plug and play. You can set your password and Wi-Fi name without needing any help. The fiber router, on the other hand, requires a technician to install it for you. Let's look at the number of devices each router can handle. The 4G T30 router connects up to 16 devices via Wi-Fi. The MTN Fiber router connects up to 64 devices. In my experience, I've connected up to 10 devices on the 4G router without major issues and up to 25 on the Fiber router with, with absolutely zero problems. If you're finding value in this video so far, hit the like button. It really helps. Thank you. Now, on to reliability. The 4G router is fairly stable, but it depends on your location. If your area has weak network coverage, your internet may struggle, and during peak times like evenings, speeds may drop. With the fiber router, my experience has been excellent. It's very stable and consistent, and weather like rain doesn't affect it. With the 4G router, I've noticed bad weather can slow it down. What about costs? When I got the 4G router, it was given out for free when I got that 10 Mbps plan at, at 130,000 Ugandan shillings. 
Other plans on this 4G router include 3 Mbps at 55,000, 5 Mbps at 85,000, 10 Mbps at 130,000, 20 Mbps at 195,000. For MTN Fiber, installation is currently free when you buy a plan. The plans start at 60 Mbps at 130,000, 100 Mbps at 195,000, 200 Mbps at 295,000, 500 Mbps at 595k. As you may have noticed, for the same price, you get much faster speeds on the MTN fiber. However, if you're a light user and need cheaper options, the 4G router offers more budget-friendly plans. Now, let's look at unlimited internet. Both routers offer unlimited internet, but with a key difference. On the 4G router, each plan has a data cap. When you use up your data, the speeds get reduced until your next subscription. With the MTN Fiber, there are no data caps. You get full unlimited internet for the entire month. Now let's do a speed test for both routers to see which one is better for streaming, gaming, working online, or running a small business. We'll use the 10 Mbps plan at 130k on the 4G router and the 60 Mbps plan at 130k on the Fiber router. Starting with the 4G router, the speeds start off by spiking at first, then they will stabilize around 10 Mbps for the download and a bit lower for upload, which is giving us 6 Mbps. Sometimes it could be higher, but one thing I've noticed is the upload is sometimes lower. The speeds will vary depending on your location and time of the day on the 4G router. Now, for the fiber router on the 60 Mbps plan, we also begin off by first spiking real high, then we settle to the 60 Mbps that I bought. It actually goes beyond that as you can see. Both download and upload speeds are excellent. Fiber is fast and consistent from what I have noticed. Now let's compare ping. For those who may not know, ping is the time it takes for your device to send a signal to the internet and get a response back. On the 4G router, we get 25 milliseconds. On the fiber router, it's 6 milliseconds. So for gamers, streamers, video callers, that makes a big difference. Lower ping means smoother, faster responses for your internet. So in this case, fiber is still a clear winner. Now, let's do a file download test. We'll download a 200 MB file on both routers. Starting with the 4G router, let's do a file download test. As I do this download test, I only have one device which is connected, which is the phone I'm using to download. Speeds would be slower if more devices were connected or during peak times like evenings. I will have to speed up things. And as you can see, the download took about 4 minutes to download the 200 megabytes file. On the fiber router using the 60 Mbps plan, I had 7 devices connected, which is 4 phones, a laptop, and 2 smart TVs all on. And the same 200 megabytes file downloaded in just 36 seconds. So clearly, fiber is way faster. So which one is best for you? If you have a small business or a household with many users, fiber is the best choice. If you do a lot of heavy downloads, online work, gaming, or high quality streaming, and you are mostly best in one location, then fiber is also best for you. Now, if you move around a lot and want unlimited internet, and don't use more than 300 GB a month, then 4G router is for you. It's portable, battery powered, and if you are on a budget and are a low data user or a basic user, then 4G router works for you. And if you are few users, one to like three users on a budget, then 4G router is also great for you. Like and subscribe if the video gave you some value. Comment below which router you are using, the 4G or the MTN Fiber one. Also let us know if you don't have any of this to which one will you be going for. I've made separate videos 
for both these routers for better understanding how they work. The 4G and the fiber one. You can watch them next. See you there.